factorizing. Factorizing is the opposite of expanding. So I'm just going to do a little reminder here. If you get asked to expand this expression, remember this means 3 times x, 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. It's a positive answer, so we put plus 6. So that is expanding. Now you see that I've got the same expression that we just got by expanding down here. Factorizing is the opposite of expanding, so we'll expect to go back from here back to in brackets. So when we're asked to factorize, we're looking for a factor that is a number and or letters, an algebraic term, that is common, shared, between both of these. Now if we look to where we expanded this, we can see that 3 goes into both of these because it's over here. When we're asked to factorize, we won't see the expanded version, we'll just see this. And we're looking for the highest number and any letters that goes into both or all of the terms. 3 goes into 3, 3 goes into 6, so we've got this highest common factor of 3. We're looking for the highest number that goes evenly into both terms. When we're asked to factorize, that comes out the front, and the remaining factors go in here. And what you'd ask yourself is, this is whatever I times 3 by to get 3x. So it has to be x, because 3 times x is 3x. And the second term is whatever I times 3 by to get 6. Well, that would be 2. And we know it's plus, because it has to get plus 6. So checking, expanding is going from the expression in brackets and taking it out of brackets by multiplying. Factorizing is taking the expression that's out of brackets and putting it back in the brackets by taking out a highest common factor. So the steps are find the highest common factor, write it out the front of the brackets, And the remaining factors are in the brackets. And that's why it's called factorizing, because we're taking out the highest common factor. So let's do some examples. Factorize 6x plus 15. We start by finding the highest common factor. 6 and 15, we're looking for a number that goes evenly into both of them. It's 3. So we put an equal sign under or next to our expression. We put 3 out the front and we put the brackets. And then the terms that go here, we ask ourselves the question, 3 times what would give me 6x? Well, 3 times 2x would give me 6x. 3 times what would give me this positive 15? That would be times a positive 5. So we've factorized that. Now there's a check that you can do. This is not part of it. This is the answer when you've been asked to factorize. Take an expression and put it into brackets. But an optional check, because factorizing is the opposite of expanding, if you expand this back, if you've done it correctly, you'll get this. So expand what you just got.
3 times 2x is 6x, 3 times 5 is 15, and that's a positive answer. I got the same as I'd started with, so that says I factorized correctly. If you can expand back and get the same answer, you know your factorization is correct. Now, factorizing 12a plus 18ab. Here's where we see that your highest common factor can be an algebraic expression. We always write what the HCF is over to the side so that we know we're being sensible about it. 12 and 18, we look for a number factor first. 6 goes into both of those. But A goes into both of these terms. So actually our HCF will be 6A. So when we're asked to factorize, we put our highest common factor out the front of the brackets and the terms that go inside are whatever we have to multiply it by to get that. So they're the leftover factors because 6a times 2 would give me 12a. It's a pair of factors. Plus 6a times what would be the other factor for 18ab? Well 6 times 3 is 18 and we've got to get that b in as well. Remember that's the answer when you're asked to factorize but there is an optional check. It's a good idea to expand it back and see if you get the same answer because then you know you're right. Six A times two is twelve A. Six A times three B, six times three. 18, A times B is AB, and it was a positive answer. I got the same answer, so I know that my factorization is correct. So they're just opposites of each other. Twenty one X minus fourteen Y. Factorize this. First up, find the highest common factor. No letters in common, but the numbers, 7 goes into both of those. So to factorize this, we put an equal sign, the highest common factor out the front. Factors come in pairs that multiply to get this. 7 times what gives me this? It would be 3. 7 times 3 gives me 21, and the x. Now we're going to have a minus because 7 times what gives me minus 14y will be minus 2y. You could do a check with that if you wanted. Optional extension if you want. I don't need this for a C grade. If your first term is negative, it is best to take out a negative HCF. Negative 3x goes into both of these terms. So when we factorize, we put negative 3x out the front. Now negative 3x times what gives me negative 3x? That will be 1. So if your whole term is the factor, you're going to have a 1 in your brackets. Here's where you do have to be careful. Negative 3x times what gives you positive 9x? It will have to be a negative 3x. Oh, sorry, we've got to get an x squared there. So please remember, once you've factorized, do your check. Label it check if you're doing it in a test. Expand. Negative 3x outside of 1 minus 3x negative 3x times 1 is negative 3x negative 3x times negative 3x is plus 9x squared I got the same result as my question so I know that I have expanded sorry I have factorized correctly <laughs>